What's up, everybody? I am at Dwayne Wade. I'm about to go behind my tweets. We're about to do this hashtag one last dance style. Just out of practice in Atlanta, putting the pads behind and focus. That was your very first tweet. That was my very first tweet. In the history of life. Oh, all right, this one right here. I remember this one like it was yesterday. So this tweet right here, June 22nd, 2009, all caps, I was attacked by birds in a parking lot and I've been shitted on twice, laugh out loud. So I got this thing with birds and my bird energy from what I've heard is a little off. I was walking, it was a whole section of birds, looked like they was having a meeting. I looked at them, they looked at me. And I was like, all right, I'm about to do this. And as I kept walking, Woo! Y'all seen that scene off of Home Alone when the guy is attacked by the birds when they when when he put all the what is it? I don't know what kind of bird stuff he put on them, but all the birds attack him in the park. That's me. And I was shitting on twice. <laughs> all right. So uh, May 16, 2011. I remember this tweet like it was yesterday. So I said I had to laugh at this. I was playing my oldest son, Zaire, on his Nerf rim. My son is 17 now, like dunking in real life. <laughs> oh, but I was playing him on his Nerf rim and he dunked. And he said, Gibson, while screaming. L2MS, kids, you gotta love it. So, he was in the Eastern Conference Finals and I got, um, I got dunked on by uh, Todd Gibson. It was like the dunk hurt around the world. Like It was a nasty dunk. And I remember the next day uh, waking up and you know, doing a daddy thing, playing with my son, playing basketball with him. And he just so happened to dunk on a nerve rim. And I couldn't believe that he looked at me and started screaming, jumping around and like yelling Todd Gibson name in my house. Like that was the first time I wanted to put my son out my house. <laughs> So me and LeBron was having this, me and LeBron was having this, um, this joke off and it started on our phone and we, I, I probably took it to Twitter. So I say, what does men platform shoes and that King James lining have in common? They both gone and they ain't never coming back. <laughs> I always joke with LeBron about his lining because the man, he's so great at everything else. It's, it's hard to joke with him about stuff. So that's the one punch line that, that I use. So I went at him a little bit on Twitter about his lining and um, he had some jokes coming back. I forget what he said, but I won this joke off. I remember winning this battle. My wife told me if I ever go ball again, she can wiggle her way out of this marriage. <laughs> She's not a fan to ball me. So I went ball in 2008 for the Olympics and I didn't tell my wife I was going ball. Um, I just went ball and she came to Vegas and see me and like lost it. <laughs> I remember the way she looked at me was the first time my wife ever looked at me as I was unattractive. <laughs> um, she didn't like it. She didn't like nothing about it. But I was going to China and I didn't want nobody cutting my hair as I was traveling. So I was like, I'm just going to keep it ball. And I cut it ball. But my wife told me don't ever do that again. Um, this right here is, this is one of the realest tweets that I've ever put out. And it's as simple as saying, I love playing a game of basketball, but Watching my son play is the purest joy I've ever had in, in basketball. And that's real, like I, I've never wanted it for someone as much as I want. I want it for my oldest son Zaire to make it to this level, the NBA level. Um, and I really wanted it for myself. But if my son is able to, to live his dream out um, and play in the NBA, you know, I just want to enjoy you know, his journey with him. And I want to see that day happen for him. Yo, so that's it. This is D-Way. Thank you guys for watching Behind the Tweets. Thanks for taking me back and um, hope you guys enjoyed it.